Welcome back team. You're Gaming with the Colonel and this is Strategic Command WW2 World at War. That's my continuing multiplayer game against Pavia. Yeah, he is the Axis and I am the Allies and I am waiting for the onslaught and wondering if it's going to come this time. Oh, he's going south. Why would he do that? I don't know. He's going to be completely cut off there. Maybe that was a mistake moving him there. Wonder how long that guy can hold in there. Probably not that long. <clears throat> Ouch. Hold, baby. Hold. Cross the river. Nope. Time to start moving some guys out. Okay, this is probably going to bite it with four, six artillery pieces, or six artillery shots. He's got three artillery pieces. No rockets, though. Oh. And on top of that, he's bombing it. Yeah, I'm going to lose it this time. I was thinking about putting that. I'm going to do this differently next time. Okay, here he goes. There's one. Here comes another one, and that'll be it. Two. Can you get another third one in there? Ouch, that hurt. That hurt a lot. I knew I should have moved him. Nah, I knew I should have moved him. I was worried about that flank. I was worried about that flank. Oh, looks like that guy's going to survive it. This is the onslaught. It's better weather. Okay, he's coming. There's all those tanks. So that's his main effort right there. Okay. Okay, maybe he's stuck there. He's trying to get back home. And I had one all the way in the corner that I wanted to kill, right? I wonder where he went. Let's go find out that first before we, uh, you know, got to do what sucks the most, right? God, I hate losing that mechanized army. It was upgraded, too. Okay, his fleet is still in the, in the house. Or he looks like he's moving some of it south. Um, let's hold off on that. Let's go up here to Brits. We had one trapped in the corner. Let's go find him. Uh, hold on. First of all, he's got two guys up here. That guy needs to get hurt. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, I can air him. Glad I brought him up last time. Okay, so we took him off the line. Where'd you go to? No way. How did you disappear that far? Okay, you're going to have to leave. Yeah, at least I took them all both down, so that's good. So let's take you and bring you up here. Do you have anything there? I'm going to blockade this port. Keep you from getting in there if that's where you're running. Probably blockade that port too, but I gotta find you first. Where did you go? Okay, you're up and running. You got one guy down here. Okay. He 
He's almost gone. Okay, so let's go ahead and force march you. Get you down here. We really want to kill this guy. I don't think he's going to be building anything back once they're gone, so... Check this out. This looks like we need to move forward now. You get in here. You move up to here. anti-tank. That's anti-air. My actual multi-anti-air that survived this long. Okay, you are Indian. You can scooch on up. You're an Indian Corps that got hurt. We're going to reinforce you. I'm going to upgrade your second anti-air. You're an anti-tank unit. No, you're an anti-air unit. Okay, you move on up. Let's bomb down on you and see what's out there. It's probably gonna hurt. Nope, didn't hurt. But I can't get to here, so we need to move up. Um, well, let's check supply there. You got a zero. All right. You're going to move up because I can't get to the back. Uh, you are going to slide up as well. That's empty, so we're going to get on you. What's my supply out there? Probably nothing. Okay, you... Need to move up as well. Okay, so it looks like we're making some progress in North Africa here. That'll be great. And these guys are in very low supply. Probably uh, close to, a, you know, like a one or a zero. I'll be able to pound on him here shortly. Over here, I think he made a mistake leaving, although the supply there was nothing anyway. But we might be able to pop him. and Donata. He's trying to escape south. He's trying to escape south and then get out. Slick move. Okay. I see what you're doing. I get it. Get it? Let's back that up. You can get in there. You can get in there too, though. I know what he's trying to do. 
kind of supply would I have there? Two. He'll get thumped pretty hard. I think I need to do it. I think I need to cut him off. Okay, he came back, which I'm good with. Let's put you in here first. No, that doesn't do me any good. Well, it actually might. I could kill you. But it did not. Hold on, I've got a three movement. I might be able to get to there if I can kill that guy. So let's see if I can kill him from here. Cannot. Man, he ended up going south. That's terrible. That is terrible. Um, all right, I think I need to start pulling guys out again. I.e., get out. Oh, we need to take these guys out anyway. So let's pull you this way. He's going to move south. He's not going to go far. I can probably use the artillery one more time. You can get into here, cut that guy off completely. Do I attack? Sure, why not? I can't hurt. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do it. Okay, so then you're fine, you're fine. You're going to start moving this way, but not yet because I need the supply. Okay, so that's going to work out okay. Now over here. This is where it gets hairy. This is where it's going to get hairy. Move down one. You move here so you can upgrade next time. You get over here. Now the question is, is this clear? looks to be. I can bring in another guy there, i.e. an army. a lot of money. This is going to cost a lot, but I think it's the right thing to do. If he moves here, and he moves here, and he moves here, he can upgrade next turn. And I can try to get you out and save you. Let's do that. Okay. 
over here, I do want to get the army in there. It's going to cost a lot, but... I'm going to bring you over here. You in there. This carrier is going to make it up to here. He's going to get fixed. He is fixed, so he's going to come out to here. And he'll go back there. You're going to move forward. You're going to move forward. I want to jump on that. So let's do an amphibious transport with you. And we're going to jump on that next turn. MacArthur. You're not going to the Philippines. You're going to try to get in here somehow. That would be some coup if I could get him there, huh? But he's not going to get there now. Or I could take him to India, which might be the better choice. So let's see, how far can you go? Take you out here, you'll get to India next time. I doubt he's getting anybody out here. Okay, thank goodness. That would have been a disaster. He's already ambushed me once, right? Let's see what kind of new units we got for the Indians. There's Slim. Now Slim is going to get over here and then start marching that way. All right, we're looking pretty good there. Now, what about over here? All these units need to upgrade. How much money you got? 320 something. These cores are going to be important. Spending all my money on the Australians here. Okay, so that's the Australians. They're looking pretty good. He is coming in that general direction, so we got to be careful. Another carrier. How far can you get? Can you get to India? You can. Let's get in there and get you fixed next turn. All right, so what else do we have to do out here, British-wise? That's done. This guy here, we still have to figure out. He's got to be useful, so let's upgrade him to make him useful. Are we down to 182? Let me check research first. Ah, yeah. Okay, so this could use one more. That could use one more, but we can't do it yet. I could use the extra tanks, although I don't have that many. ASW is working as hard as it can because I've been getting smoked by those guys. That was well done, Pavia. The subs were good. So let's... Um, Do I want it there? I think I want the second command and control because eventually I'll be going whole hog on that. Oof. But advanced tanks is so tempting. So is heavy bombers.
Naval weaponry as well. Yeah, I need naval weaponry. Okay. Needed that a long time ago. But now that we're going to be engaging the, uh, the Japanese, we need that. All right, so we've got this guy down here. And we know we have at least a couple up here we need to go look at. So let's go do that. There's one. Let's get him off my line. He did not want to get off the line. Can you reach him? He cannot. Where did that guy go? It's up here. Do we think he landed up in here somewhere? Crazy. I don't know. I don't know where that guy went. Now let's protect the carrier. You come on out, get up here. Okay, so we didn't get you off the line. That's priority number one. There's another one. Get you off the line. Dive, there you go. You dive, you're not on the line. So I'm good with that. I know there's a damaged one back here we need to go look for. I'd rather find and kill that damaged one. He didn't make it back here, did you? No, he didn't make it back there. Okay, so he's out here somewhere. There he is. I knew he tried to run. Got him. All right, good job. So now we can take this guy, the Soviets guy, get up here and try to hurt this dude. Yeah, didn't want him there. I wanted to get him off the line. Nice. That was worthwhile though. I need to kill these guys off so they can't let them get past here. All right. Got plenty of supply. I keep saying there's somebody on the Egyptian line. Oh, that's this dude. He's coming from here. Okay, so I got two guys going after him. That should be plenty. Get this guy garden here. Uh, I got to make sure that there's nothing back here. Let's track that. Track this. I'm okay with just using those two ships back and forth. And you can go up north. Supply of nine. Let's get you back closer. A supply of eight. Let's get you to here and then uh, get you all the way up. This guy here. Wants to take some of this. So I'm going to sit back here. Trench pretty good. Let's uh, bring you back. Put you back in the front line. <laughs> I don't think we. Have, well, we get. Let's, before we finish that, let's go ahead and do one more thing with. What do we got? We got seven money left. 
Is there anything we can do with seven money? No, I need to start upgrading all these guys. Not going to be able to do anything with that. Supply is lower. Hi, you. Nope. Okay, he's going to have to do something. Yeah, I can't even upgrade that guy. So, all right. Seven money is nothing. That's, he's got what? This guy out here in the middle of nowhere, is he fully done? He is. Okay. Uh, U.S. Other side. Well, we do have some units, so let's pop those out. So Bradley's coming out here because we're going to definitely be assembling the force that gets into Europe. Strategic bombers are in Pittsburgh. Okay. <clears throat> the Massachusetts battleship will go to the other side. And the third army's in Charleston, and I'm happy about that. Okay, so. I should probably bring that other army back. All right, so it's time to put guys in the water again. You can be a regular amphib and drop into here. That cost you 43. So let's do that. Ugh. One, two, three, four. I went the wrong way. Oh, hold on. What's here? Oh, I shouldn't have moved there. Now he knows I'm there. Can't upgrade that yet. You're going to be long range. I, I am going to have to pick that guy up. He's just too close. So I could short range Amphib into here. Let's put you in the port first. And we're going to short range Amphib U because the difference is a goodly amount of money. Yeah, like 12. And Damn it. Yeah, he's still going to be able to reach. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that's done. You're going to get your upgrade. And we're going to start sneaking out here. You're going to get your upgrade. Before I forget, I'm going to buy another Amphib. I mean another Special Forces unit. You're going to get your upgrade. Got to make sure these guys are useful. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. The ports are still in low next turn. Okay, so you guys can start coming out. You need an upgrade. dangerous just to sit out here but 
Gotta get some of these ships upgraded. You can come in over here. Come back there. You come back there. You come back there. All right, this guy's got a pretty good view here of what's going on. These guys can move forward. I'll go ahead and double time them. Uh, they'll lose one. So, well, they got a supply of 12 to start with, so they're okay. But you, you've got a supply of 12 as well. So we'll double time you guys out. Okay, and that's it for this part of the world. I do want to pick up these two guys. I don't want anything close to there, and I don't want any visibility. So we're island hopping our butts off, right? Okay, you, we're going to jump next time up into here. You, I moved so I can't upgrade, which is unfortunate. What else are the Americans doing? I could do nothing with him. I could just let him die. Which is probably what's going to happen, right? So Oh, you got to go back to Darwin. So we did everything with these guys. I just don't know what to do with this army. So we have two choices. We can keep them over here. Use him to try to invade the North Island like I always do. Or I could prep him to go for the invasion of Europe, which is, I think, what's going to happen. I mean, we got some time before that happens. But I don't think we're going to be using him in an amphibious type of way. Let's check research. Okay. Heavy bombers. I'm working on those. Spying and intelligence is maxed. I've got that maxed. I've got that maxed. I've got everything maxed over there. What's next? Advanced tanks, advanced fighters. Definitely advanced fighters. Leaving me with 167. I could do some anti-sub. What I really want to do is check over in Europe, upgrade that heavy bomber. Leaving me with 150 exactly. Let's hit him. Hmm. Nowhere to go where he couldn't see me, unfortunately. All right, so 150 exactly. I gotta spend it. I should spend it. What am I gonna spend it on? What do I need in the Pacific? I really want to knock Japan out quickly. Uh, although we do have to fight a two-front war. Could purchase. A core or an anti-air or a maritime bomber. Well, the maritime bomber definitely seems like the thing I should get, right? Fairly cheap. I'll have to upgrade it one more time. So might as well get it empty. I'll purchase it. <laughs> then I'm going to um, operate it. Probably out here somewhere. And then I will go from there. 
as a maritime bomber forward is a fantastic thing to have. All right. Soviets. So this is now the main effort. This is where his tanks are. That is good to know. We're going to reinforce you. That's the Polish Corps. <clears throat> we could try to bust through here. That's 10. That means I wouldn't be able to move back. You've made your... I should have made a three banger. And it is worth doing. Let's bring the tanks back. We can counterattack with them. Can't see them yet. I don't want to get them in where they can get hit. I do want to pop that guy just because. Problem is, he's a scout tank. If I put him up there, I'm going to have to pull him back. One, two, three, four, hits, five. Okay. okay. Back you up. And I am going to go here. And that one is going to have to be a three banger. Now, let's slowly start upping our... Boy, I'll tell you what, if I could reinforce these right away and get them down here, I think they're going to be more important than we think. Can't operate them because they're not on a rail. How much does it cost to reinforce them? 42. He could get there, but then he's going to get pounded. So, Gagney's armor tanks. Ooh, that'll be tough. Do I bring him down there to hurt that guy? I don't know if I want to do that. These guys are surrounded. They had a really low supply. Don't know if I can escape. But I can pound him and hit him for two. I think I need to do that. Well, maybe one. Got a shock army here. Let's pull him up. Ooh. One and three. Reinforce you behind the uh, river. Although I can move you back. So these guys are both on the line. He can jump. Unless I move it up. Okay, there's just a lot of not goodness going on over here. He's going to come around. He's going to think that something is open, but it's not. They're going to get reinforced. 
you need to slide on out of here. I need to upgrade the fortress here. You need to slide on out of there. <clears throat> Try to hold this one more time. If he breaks through here, I'm in trouble. Only got one shock army. This is his main effort. And going down here. I'm going to need to hold this. And I can't let him break through here because then he comes down here and pops my headquarters. So, my shock army, unfortunately, hold on for a second. What happened here? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's all right. <clears throat> yeah, my shock army is going to have to go in the south because if I don't put it here and he breaks through here and comes down here and takes out that headquarters, then I'm in trouble. So shock army goes down there. You need to get fixed. We know where the air is. It's down here. He can go around. That's not ever good. He's got an operational range of six at a minimum, but I think it's more. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going to think that's empty. One, two, three, four. Six. He could jump into there into the oil as well. Air is coming. Let's hold off on that for just a second. What do we get next turn? In June. Get heavy armor and that's it. That's unfortunate. July, though. We'll be able to reinforce. Okay, so there's air around. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. I still don't have the second infantry weapons yet. Let's just find out why not. Ugh, 97. Let's hope we get it this time. Okay, so this, his tanks are here. He can come back and envelop that way too. How do I... See, this is kind of a trap. He's in there. Okay, Saratov is fairly safe. He could try to come up this way. Six. Yeah, he could do it, too. Yep, he's got six action points, and it's clear. Although the forest is plus one. Yeah, right next to it. I don't have any more units, though. Gonna have to upgrade these guys here in a second. So what do we do about this? Can't really break out. If I bring him down here, he's going to get thumped from all these guys. But they're twos just like me, and I'm a heavy armor, I think. Could I break him out? Supply can't be great for these guys. Four, three, zero, two. Try to 
zero supply. He's got a three. Oh no, hold on. He might do something funky like jump in behind me here. I can only do it once. <clears throat> I could go ahead and hurt him, but it would be costly. <clears throat> Let's see here. Just one. You guys are all fine. You're working. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three. He already moved, so that's unfortunate. Tula's not in any danger. We don't have enough command and control. We're working it though. That's gonna happen next time. We're working on anti-tanks, we're working on that. We're probably going to want advanced fighters. <clears throat> and we're going to need spying and intelligence eventually. Okay, so I'm going to completely reinforce him. And him. You, I'm going to move onto the rail. So they can be operated when needed. Next time he's going to go to the rail, he's going to upgrade, he's going to reinforce, and then after that we can start operating if we need to. This is his main effort. I brought my armor down here. Close that just enough. <clears throat> this rail line right here is the one that needs to stay open. If that gets cut, I'm in trouble. Because I won't be able to reinforce down here. So if he jumps just into here, even that is hurtful. Okay, let's research anti uh, uh, heavy advanced fighters, I think, or mobility, or ground attack, or spying and logistics. So much to do, so little time. If I'm ever going to use my fighters, though, Okay, so I don't know where his stuff is. I'm going to start coming down here. Just, just in case, they just might be useful, but just out of his range. If he moves forward there, then at least I'll have an opportunity to get after him. Although right now he is supply zero. So 
So he's not going very far. I feel like I should operate some more anti-air down here. This is where his air is. So I should operate air here. It's not up top, so I might as well move it, right? Only cost 10. Hmm. Would have been better to get it in here. Let's go there. in here. All right. So we did research on advanced fighters. As long as we do one research every time, we're going to be okay. Let's purchase some stuff. I'm going to purchase that guy back. He's only 25. I think I need to purchase that mechanized guy back. More shock troops. And get tanks. Tanks are important. Can or his. Don't want you up till October. Let's get it. Maybe we'll get some short usage out of them. So we're pretty much out of money at this point. 85 bucks <clears throat> will allow for some minor upgrades. Let's get another one of these. Let's upgrade that army to this second thing. That's where the air is. The fact that he hasn't gone after Smolensk is uh, kind of a mystery to me. that guy we don't really need to at the moment but we might as well spend the money and get the upgrades in while we can that way they're movable when it's time no advancement over here on Stalingrad and no more money okay I think we're done there all right I think we plug the holes as best we can and we still have a problem here and I don't get a lot of units next time, so there is a problem there. I also still need to upgrade these guys over here, so that's got to happen. Uh, he's going to continue to move, try to get to this port. Over here, what do we got? He's coming whole hog over here. Do I have any units? No. Okay, so this is getting ready to be his main effort because that's where his artillery is. <laughs> so we're going to reinforce you right off the bat. We know we're going to need to. Give him by an army back, which we probably will. These guys are all okay. There's that guy. He's going to die next, but it's going to be delaying action, and I think that's going to be okay. Let's 
Stillwell needs to go north. Okay, he's, he's covering these guys. That's good. That covering this guy is irrelevant. Cover him instead. So what are we trying to do this turn? What I really like to do is get him out of here, put him in there. So I think we can do that. Yeah, this is plus one movement. So he can actually get this dude in here probably next turn. Unless it's raining. Or unless he's in low supply. It's supply eight, action points three. Yeah, you can get in there. So you need to retreat. This guy's out here flopping. He's going to get thumped. He's got three action points. Let's hit this guy. And then back up. Nice. All right. And then we have him. I am thinking about... Oh, I can't give him an elite. Yeah, I moved him. Yeah, it's going to get ugly there. So still well, make your way to Lan Chow. Purchase the busted army. And we're out of money. Okay, well that was it. Uh, the Indians still have a little bit of money, but not enough to do anything with. We're setting up a decent line here. The Indian is going to uh, Indian headquarters right here, who is a slim, is going to be coming through here. He'll be fine. Uh, this is a problem. It would be a coup if I could get MacArthur in there, but it's going to die a slow death sooner or later. I'm just going to try to delay it as long as possible. He's going to get an upgrade. He's going to get repaired. And we'll see where we can go with that. Hopefully MacArthur doesn't get ambushed. And my guys in the water don't get hammered. And I think I'm going to hit the go button, guys, because there is nothing left that I can do. 89 money is not enough to do anything with. Feels like a transported guy. Do I want a transported guy? Could get a guy in here, maybe. I mean, I can see this. This is open, right? Aha. I knew he was going to do something funky like that. I am not going to pull my carrier out there to get thumped. I could get this guy. Man, I've got to do something, though. What's going to happen is he's going to bring more ships up here to thump this guy. We'll hammer him real good with that. 
אוקיי. זה מסטייק. bring him here and bombard him. I don't think you've got the carriers down here yet. So, let me move him here. And save my cruiser. Dive away. Good deal. <clears throat> Good deal. All right. And you're fine there, although that's scary because he's only got five. If he's got a bunch of carriers down here, I'm in trouble. I know he's got ships. He doesn't have any carriers. And I don't have any destroyers over here. Yeah, these guys can't go fast enough. And he ain't ready. So, I guess that's how was, we're going to have to leave it. Oh, it's so scary. I wish I wouldn't have moved him out. I've got to make decisions. And of course, it makes him make decisions too. Okay, he suffers a morale loss. I really got to check morale. They deploy forces in Samoa. Okay, that's me. That's good. Oh, he doesn't have anybody in Nanchang. There's partisans all around that. Okay. Uh, let's see here, military activity on Crete. But I'm in it. He's not there. Normally there's an Italian dude there, I think. Axis raiders disrupt that, yep. All right, we got advanced tanks for the U.S., outstanding. And we're going to go for three next. All right, we finally got infantry level two. China got infantry level two, outstanding. We got tech. So we got tech three for India, uh, for industry tech, that's outstanding. We're gonna keep pumping that up because it sends more to the UK. All right, that's good. Pavia, it's your turn. You've been gaming with the Colonel, please like, subscribe, come back early and often. I really need to look at the reports next time. For now, I'm out.